Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are in a new environment, oh my God, but it is not the new beauty studio. So this is just a new space that I finally had like some wallpaper put up and some curtains instead of just like boring, nothing in the background. So I thought maybe I would give it a try filming in here and doing something a little different because we are also doing something a little bit different with this week's OMG Tuesday. Instead of trying out one product and going through the day, I picked up a bunch of really strange um, weird items that we're gonna kind of talk about. I went to Ulta and I literally was zigzagging through the store. I'm always on that weird mission to find something new that jumps out at me that I'm like, huh, maybe this could be cool or maybe this would work. Look at this crazy thing that I'm holding. This is from Bedhead. This is the Textroverted. This is a tourmaline ceramic texturizing iron. And I saw this and I had to have it. I was like, how, like you could do some damage. This could also be a self-defense weapon. You could actually probably use it in the kitchen. It just looks strange. I'm actually gonna heat this up and we're gonna try it out. I specifically wore my hair straight today so that I could see the kind of curl and texture that I could get out of this strange curling iron. It kind of does look like a weapon, right? I mean, you could like scrape your windshield with this in the winter. What is this? This does heat up to 400 degrees. It has an auto shut off. It will set you back $29.99. So let's have some fun and plug this sucker in and see exactly what it does. What? I'm gonna go on medium high. That's kind of what I always do. I never like cranking irons up all the way. It's kind of weird because it doesn't have like the little thing where you like set it down and it doesn't touch your table, but what the heck, we're just gonna go with it and hope that I don't burn the place down. But before I go in with the hot tool, I want to put on a little snail CC cream from Kenra. This is an all-in-one anti-aging CC cream for your hair. When I saw the little snail on here, I was just like, ew, gross. You know, snail secretion apparently is like a new hip thing and it's great in your skincare, it's great in hair care, it has healing properties. Literally on the back of this, it says it's gonna help dulling, thinning, breakage, frizz, dryness, elasticity, porosity, scalp irritation, unmanageability, which Lord knows I have, and coarse texture. This has no parabens, no sulfates, and it also says that no snails are harmed in the production of this product. Why do I see like a snail on here and I immediately think it's gonna stink? I don't like snails. Um, I love animals, but like anything slimy to me kind of makes me wanna go um, I actually read an article with like an actual snail facial where they literally put snails on your face and they like kind of climb around on your face. I don't know if I could do that. I think I might think that I would be like a good sport and that I would actually throw up like during the treatment and run out screaming and it would be like a whole traumatic event in my life. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Comes out kind of like any other hair cream. It actually doesn't smell very good at all, to be honest. Ugh. It smells very patchouli and a little bit musky. So this is a leave-in cream. You're probably more likely to put it on wet hair before you blow dry. Oh, it says that you can use this on dry hair. So there we have it. I just used it on dry hair. I kind of smell a little bit like straight patchouli now. While the curling iron is still heating up, actually that's hot as hell right now, okay. But I wanna move on to one more thing before we go back to the hair. Let's take a look at this weird little guy from Tony Moly. This is the Inked Cushion Liner, and it looks like a calligraphy pen which I don't know if the liner itself is gonna be like, oh wow, that's such a crazy product. I just think that this little guy sitting on your vanity looks kinda cool, right? I think it's neat. So I wanna try this on the back of my hand and see what the ink is all about. Oh my gosh, actually that's a lot different than what I thought it would be. This actually just got even cuter. So this is your brush for your eyeliner and it sits on the top like this. I love that. I keep being surprised more and more through the journey of opening this product up. So you actually have a cushion liner right in here, kind of similar to your cushion foundations. Let's kind of go in and see. Oh, that's like really intense. Dude, I need to put this on my eyes like right now. Yeah, I'm kind of living for that right now. I kind of love the packaging. I love the formula. Oh my gosh, look how rich that is. The brush is fantastic. I kind of can't even get over it. I like you. 
Okay, moving on. Let's go back to the freaking weird thing that is heated up now. I'm gonna do this the way I would like a normal wrap around kind of a situation, curling iron. Oh my God, why is this so weird to me? And interesting. We'll just do a few pieces. A lot of you guys always want a tutorial with my hair. Really, I don't do anything like that spectacular. It's not like I'm like putting cool braids in my hair or anything like that. It's blown out and then I wrap my hair around a, like one and a half inch curling iron. And that is about it. It doesn't really get more cool or spectacular than that. What is this iron? Are you, is this the right way to use it? Cause I kind of think I just jacked everything up. That looks horrible. Is this supposed to just like be right at the root? You like lift the root or something? What are you? If any of you guys know how to use that iron, because makeup is the thing that I am good at, comfortable with, understand hair stuff kind of makes my head spin a little bit. So if you've seen an iron like that and you know exactly what you're supposed to do with it, Leave it in the comments below. Another hair care item. I have this from Topics, which I actually really enjoy the powder that you just kind of sprinkle on your scalp. If you have any areas of your scalp that are more visible due to a cowlick, or if you have thinning hair and you want to cover that up too, you totally can. And they're like little fibers. They work magic. I have a cowlick back here that I usually cover up with a little bit of teasing and hairspray, but I used to really love using the topics, the actual fibers just to cover that up. And I'm really self-conscious of it. Like I used to see photos and I'd be like, my bald spot, my bald spot. And every hairstylist is like, dude, calm down. It's not a bald spot. It's actually where your hair is parting and growing like this way and that way. So it's fine, it's natural. It happens with most people's hair, but with darker hair against a very pale scalp, it feels to me like it's very, very visible. Long story short, I have this guy now on hand that I am really hopeful for. I think this is going to be cool. This is actually not a dry shampoo and it's not just the fiber colored bits themselves. It is actually a colored hair thickener. So this is like a texturizing spray that when you use it at the root is going to give you a little bit of coverage as well, which I need to get my roots done anyway. So I'm hoping maybe this will work out just a little bit. Oh my God, do you see that? Oh, whoa. Do we see what just happened? Whoa. Oh, oh, what have I done? Actually, I do really like that. I can tell from feeling it, the texture is really nice. Really gross brown um, pigment on your fingertips. So if I had a sink in front of me, I'd be washing my hands. Um, I think that's a pretty cool product. It's a texturizer and the little pigments all in one. And it has a nice, just really nice gritty feel. I love using the Orbe dry texturizing spray or the triple sec from Dry Bar. And I think I'm gonna put that one in rotation for sure. I kind of look like I just put my finger in an electric socket right now. Um, I don't have a big mirror in front of me either. So I'm kind of going off of the monitor. Let's just put the hair back for a moment. Um, James is making fun of me so hard for this. I have a weird habit of taking makeup brushes and using them kind of like a chopstick to secure a bun. It's just been a weird thing that I've been doing recently. I don't know, did you guys in high school ever like just stick a pen in your hair? I used to do that all the time until my mom got so mad at me one time because I was leaning back on the couch and I like got blue ink from moving my head around because I didn't have the cap on it. Shame. I have a lipstick duo to try out that I'm really excited about. It is the Smoky Lip Kit from Lipstick Queen. We all know I tried out the Frog Prince lipstick. That video, so many of you guys loved. I will link it below. It's a green lipstick that color changes with your pH and your body temperature. And it's become a product that my mom is obsessed with. So. Um, she discovered that through, of course, me doing that video and she loves it. So this is a lipstick duo. You get a matte formula lipstick and then you get the smoky lip topper, which essentially you can put over any matte lipstick that you already own. And it's just gonna make it a more intense kind of smoky effect on your lips. I don't really know what that's all about, but you know me. 
I'm curious as can be, so I had to grab it and try it. So this color right here, by the way, is so up my alley. This is like such a beautiful, gorgeous nude. That's actually not that matte. What are they talking about? This is Pinky Nude Center. It says, get ready for the biggest trend since the smoky eye. It's the smoky lip, a sheer black with gold flecks meant to be layered over a full coverage lipstick. So I guess not a matte lipstick. I was just kind of making that up. Um, you can apply the smoky lip topper over any full coverage lipstick, or you can break all the rules and wear it alone if you want to. <laughs> It, um, it does say that this is a matte lipstick. It says it's a satin matte. What does that even mean? Because I don't really think so. It's a really beautiful color, but this set will cost you $35. So it's a pricey little duo. We're gonna see what this guy right here is all about. I gotta do a major close-up for you guys because this is kind of hypnotizing to look at. Um, okay, let's go in. I don't really get it. Pass. Really pretty peachy color, but I don't know that I would pay $35 for the duo when the top coat is just weird. Mayonnaise for your hair. Actually, no, it's just Tony Moly tricking you with the cute packaging again. This is called the Heyo Zayo Hair Sleeping Pack. I'm gonna use this tonight. I will report to you in the description box below of how it went down. Um, there is not any English on the back of this packaging, like the only English you get is the name on here and that the scent is vanilla and coconut and that it's for all hair types. Why does this have such intense packaging on it? Really? Hey, Oseo. That's what she said. Oh my God, that smells like bleach. I'm not even exaggerating. Oh my God, that smells like bleach. Ew, ugh. Oh my God. That's why they put plastic on it because if anybody opened that up and smelled it, they'd be like, never mind. Someone's about to walk in the door right now. Hey, Oseo, come here. I want I want you, James, come Me? here. Yes. I'm not fit for camera right now. It does now. not matter. Yes. Oh, come on. Now put them together. Now smell it. What does it smell like? Spa? It smells like bleach. Wait. <laughs> hey yo, say yo. What the hell is that? We tricked you. Well, it's, it's a hair conditioner and now you're bald. I said it smells like spa because it smells like, it smells like cleaning stuff. <laughs> Would you support me putting this no. liberally on my hair and going to bed no. next to you? No. I think that the Zayo actually smells like a clean bathroom and it would just be weird sleeping next to you like that at night. Ooh, clean bathroom, <laughs> cuddle me. Zayo later. I kind of see one more weird product like out of the corner of my eye that I want to like crawl on the floor and go and get. Hold on. This is not that crazy, but it is kind of different. It's a shower foam. I'm a big fan of hand soaps that are like foamy and don't make a big like gross mess, you know what I'm saying? Like in your bathroom, you have the option of like liquid soap or the foamies and I like the foamy soaps. And now there's a shower foamy. This has the deep moisture, nutrium, complex, whatever they have going on. So you go like that and you wash your body. Okay, self-explanatory, that was not that crazy. That's just me really reaching. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.